and uh, so so you did. Wait, did you did you kitty up until? I did kitty up until two thousand five. So okay. I was there right at the start of uh, two thousand two. Uh-huh. We did Ozfest Europe. That was one of my first European uh, trips out with the girls. That was bananas. Yeah, that was crazy. And w- I will never forget Portugal. Um, gosh, I can't remember who. I don't think it was Drowning Pool. I can't remember which band. We, there was a. We were one of the 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 last acts to go on. Slayer right. was headlining. Okay, that's the point I'm trying Ooh, to make here. Right, okay? right, 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 right. So you already know. So Slayer's headlining. I don't know who the buffer band. I cannot remember who it was. I remember El Nino was on that. Shout out to them. Um, Drowning Pool was was on that uh, particular bill. Shout out to those guys. Um, Dave, rest in peace. A good friend of mine. I, I think about him a lot and miss him. Um, I don't know who the buffer band was, but in Portugal, we ended up going on wow. before Slayer. Wow. Get the fuck out. And, you know, you're already playing with Slayer, so you already know, like, yeah. oh, shit. Were they know? taunting you with the fucking Slayer fucking chance? Uh, listen to this. So we get on stage. <laughs> uh, Jeff, Jeff's in the mix. <laughs> yeah. And, it, and, and Tom is up on stage with us. Like, Jeff is behind me. Tom is on the other side. So you're watching, like, I turn around, and it's like, those are huge inspirations to yeah, me, yeah, yeah. right? Hands down. And I, I turn and look, and I was then I look at Mercedes and like that, like it was like like I couldn't even make words, and I, all I could do was this like fuck. We do our thing, we're doing our thing, and this chant starts. And I I'm, I'm Puerto Rican, but I, I don't speak Portuguese, right? Right. So this chant starts, and it's like. Okay. I, well, I don't think that I don't know. I think they speak Spanish. Re- regardless, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments because yeah, that's it's what Portu- the internet. It's Portuguese. It's I think, Portuguese. Is it, I think. Is it, yeah, it's Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. yeah I believe yeah. so. Okay, cool. And if not, you you know, you can still in the comments, I'm sure you'll yeah. let me know. <laughs> so, Slayer's on. Guys behind us, whatever. Uh, one <laughs> one of my favorite people I've ever worked with Justin his name nickname fun boy fun right. boy did several tours with us he was our drum tech awesome fucking guy uh, fun boy his name for a reason we were but we're not talking about <laughs> fun boy necessarily uh today uh, that could be another day but Slayer's on uh, pardon me they're behind us what have you and there's this chant starting like mm, 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 mm. we have no idea what they're saying <laughs> but the tv crew people who are filming us they're falling out they're like oh and we're like oh my god these people it's see i thought they loved us i thought they right, were right, kind right. I was like, well, maybe yeah. they don't love us i don't know i can't read the room or the arena rather right and and we were like i was like fun boy ask because what there was a translator guy there was a guy who spoke like awesome i was like go ask him i was like i have no fucking idea what they're saying and he's i see them talking then fun boy just is like <laughs> and i was like oh no and i was like come over i was like what are they saying he's like i would fuck them all of them all night <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck yes. an arena at least seven thousand to ten thousand people are they, and they were like the flags are going and, there's right, like, right, right, right. and these horns and we were <laughs> like and then uh, we don't know mercedes is like doing the kick drum with them like do, 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 right, do, right, do, right, do. Right. Holy shit. So that's one of my favorite stories. I was like, nice. and I was like, uh, Jeff too? Because Jeff's up here playing. I was like, all right, Jeff, you get some too. All right, Jeff. Equal opportunity. Uh, um, but that show was interesting because uh, people started thro- were throwing shit at Jeff. You know, some of the fans, they weren't worth the shits when they saw a guy up on stage. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. There was no need to do any of that. Uh, and so if I ever caught that, I would go on that side of stage and be like, no. Like, fuck off. Fuck yeah, off. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? You paid money to throw shit at this dude? Yeah. Like, get your shit together. Yeah. You got to go touch some grass, buddy, because, like, you can't be <laughs> so concerned with this. In Europe, that goes on more than it does here, correct? Like, get, you're getting th- show, shit thrown at you and all that well, kind of stuff. Well, I, 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 I'm going to say yes and no. I'll explain why. At that particular show, I, I would say Jeff, incredible human being, great guitarist. He was getting shit because he's only he's the only dude up on stage. Right, and some right. people they they thought the kid is all female, and when they finally saw us up on stage, they were like, "What is this?" Yeah. But I would say for that instance, that was interesting. 
in other places, Spain, Germany, uh, the UK, there was other countries, and nothing like that would have ever happened, and they were very respectful. I remember playing the show. It might have been in Germany. I'm not quite sure. It was, it was smaller, and there was no barricade. And at first, we were really concerned, but the fans, the fans went crazy, and they did everything, but it's like there was a wall of people there that the they didn't fuck with the, themselves like no one fucked with them and they just stood there and they were enjoying the show and they were into it they were very respectful they didn't try to grab us which was a, a big problem we would have just people coming up on state running at us grabbing us right all this weird did shit. you have security on the side of the stage yeah. like tackling dudes yeah we, we had to start having that uh right. and we we had also like security would be assigned to us right. like what like if they had to get a additional runners or whatever it's like all right cool you are responsible for jen today and i'm like well great you're gonna have a great day and we're gonna have a good time <laughs> yeah i want that cool. job on the yeah, side yeah, of the yeah, stage yeah, yeah. just tackling motherfuckers yeah. got him got him it was great i had more women tackling me than dudes yeah. so yeah i'm not complaining but it, <laughs> but still it's fucking dangerous they could be holding something i mean yeah. and i think a dime bag god forbid you know right yeah. so like it's it's not cool anyone listening to this to run after <laughs> or throw shit at your at, at musicians at, yeah, at a band no. performing like don't do that um but yeah i would say that it, a lot of that crowd is, is typically really r- respectful i think it was just a wild ass night it, right. it was a wild ass day i mean gosh if i could project the picture for you just think of a open air stadium and everyone just you know doing it to it having yeah, yeah, a, yeah. a really great time and it, you know, a, a lot of t- I, I would say we had more of the grabby wild shit here in the States versus um, yeah. overseas. Yeah. Uh, 